Hello, happy travelers. In this video, we are going to be showing you six must visit places to eat on your next trip to Vegas. The first restaurant on our list is Cassie Beach House, located at the Virgin Hotel. Cassie Beach House offers an escape to the Italian seaside, serving authentic coastal Italian cuisine alongside a refreshing wine, beer, and cocktail menu. Downstairs at the Virgin Hotel, we are at the Cassie Beach House, which is kind of like an Italian seaside, beachy kind of restaurant. They have a lot of seafood, but they also have steaks and some awesome cocktails, which we are about to get. So our drinks have just arrived. I went for the classic old fashioned, can't go wrong. Kelly went for the Japanese penicillin, which has Suntory Toki Japanese whiskey, ginger, lemon, and honey. And I stole a taste of it first, it's pretty good. <laughs> he tasted it before I did, that's rude. We started with the mezze platter, which included whipped eggplant, white bean dip, whipped ricotta with honey, crudités, and oven roasted bread. Entrees have arrived. I went big with the filet at a half a lobster. No sides because we just had that giant mezze platter and we're probably gonna get desserts. And Kevin got a pasta with a vodka sauce and he added chicken to it. And it's like a lot of pasta, so yeah. I'm probably gonna be helping him with that. <laughs> For our next restaurant, we are headed to Bardot Brasserie inside the Aria Hotel and Casino. Michael Mina's French Brasserie offers a polished central bar, upscale fare, a patio, and a 1920s vibe. They offer an authentic French interior and a yummy brunch menu, complete with endless mimosas. I love a good brunch, so this morning we came to the Bardot Brasserie inside the Aria Hotel, and it is very French and very sexy, as you can tell by the name Bardot. We're starting off with some oop mimosa, deviled eggs with caviar on top, so fancy. So I'm not a huge fan of caviar, but I do like deviled eggs, so. You're a cheap date, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Let's give it a try. Don't really taste the caviar. Oh, a little bit at the end. Yeah, it just tastes like a deviled egg until the very end, there's a little finish of caviar. I like it. We also went for French toast, which at this restaurant they just call it toast. Uh, Not really. Which has a marscapone, like cream cheese on top of it, like an almond drizzle on the side. French omelet, served with hash browns and a little salad. A goat cheese, candied walnut, and beet salad. Kelly doesn't really like arugula, and I said it would be okay, but there's a lot of arugula on it, so I might have to eat all that. Next, we are headed to downtown Las Vegas for dinner at Carson Kitchen, an award-winning casual eatery serving playful interpretations of comfort food, which are both delicious and filling. We're mixing it up tonight. We came off of the Strip. We're actually in downtown Las Vegas, which is a really cool area, to be honest. There's a lot of cool places to eat, a lot of art. It's very funky, very hip. We're at this place called Carson Kitchen. It's very kind of industrial. They've got a lot of twists on some modern American meals. It sat us right at the front row. We're basically in the kitchen, so I think we're gonna get dinner and a show tonight. So all the dishes here are like shareable or family style, so we ordered a few options just to start with. We'll probably order more. We got a short rib flatbread, which comes with pickled red onions on top of it, and then burnt hot dog ends, which they take like a jalapeno hot dog, cut it up and toss it in barbecue sauce, served with like spicy pickles. So far all the food is so good. And they have Einstock beer, which is crazy because I've never seen this outside of Iceland. We drank this all the time when we were traveling around Iceland back two years ago. So we ordered some baked mac and cheese, which I saw that on the menu, and I'm a sucker for mac and cheese, and our server actually recommended that to us, so I was like, boom. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but it looks amazing. So one downfall of sitting right where you can see all the food prepared is you get to see all the dishes come out for other people. That resulted in us ordering two desserts, because they just look way too good to pass out. So dessert number one is a bourbon brownie with brown butter bacon ice cream. That's a, a lot of bees in here. It's really, really good. The second one is a glazed donut bread pudding, which was recommended to us. And I freaking love donuts, so... I mean, calories don't count when you're on vacation, right? For dinner one night, we headed to Cathedral, 
an upscale French Mediterranean located in the lobby of Aria Resort and Casino. To start, we tried the hamachi crudo and grilled baby artichokes. For the main course, we enjoyed black truffle fettuccine and Faroe Island salmon. Not only was the food delicious, but so was the vibe, with everyone dressed to the nines and even a celebrity sighting or two. Because we needed more brunch in our lives, we stopped by Vanderpump's Cocktail Garden inside Caesar's Palace the next morning. I had the best lychee cocktail of my life, and we sampled a little bit of all the small plates they serve, from crispy chicken sliders to mixed berry waffles, and even some tasty pulled pork bao tacos. This restaurant is quintessential Vegas with low lighting and lots of sparkly details and is a place you won't wanna miss. Next on our list is Brunch at Lago in the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. Another coastal Italian eatery, the plates are made to share and the view of the strip is unparalleled. For Sunday brunch, we've decided to go all out. We are at Lago at Bellagio, and they have given us the table with the best view. We are right next to where you can see the Bellagio fountains. On the weekends, they start at 12 p.m. And we've gone all out with the food, too. I've got a strawberry mimosa, we've got banana pancakes, lobster benedict, and steak and eggs with a filet. We went for it, guys. Go big or go home. We hope you enjoyed our list of places to eat in Vegas. And if you have any other places you highly recommend in Vegas, be sure to drop them in the comments. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe because we have a ton of travel adventures coming up in the future. But for now, this is, you know me, Kelly from the Aqua Taurus. Peace out.